Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 89 and 1 says, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known your faithfulness to all generations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah and glory to God. We are able to be here tonight by God's great grace and mercy. He has blessed us. He has kept us and our families in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He has not allowed us to be overcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us go before our Father and praise his holy and righteous name. Let us thank him for every good and perfect thing is from the heavenly Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we, your children and rulers assembly, stand before you, O Lord, saying thank you, Father. We thank you for thy great and mighty mercy, Father, that has kept us and kept us, kept our family. We give you glory, almighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless your holy name. We thank you that you are a loving and faithful God. We thank you that you have healed us. You have delivered us. You have protected us. You have provided for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the midst of lack, Father, you have provided for us, your children. In the midst, Father, of evil sickness, you have kept us well in the name of Jesus Christ. And we are grateful, great physician in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. We thank you, Emmanuel, God with us, that you have been with us, that you have shepherded us through every dark place in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we praise you. Father, we give you glory. King of kings and Lord of lords, we bow before your holy name. Most high God, we lift you up. We magnify your name. We bless you. We honor you. For there is none like you. You are the ancient of days, the king of glory, the almighty Jehovah. Father, we praise you. Father, we worship you. And we thank you, light of God, lamb of God. For thou art worthy to be praised, to be honored, and to be adored. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Proverbs 15, 29 says, The Lord is far from the wicked but he hears the prayer of the righteous. And Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the light. None comes to the Father except through me. We can't get to righteousness except by the Lord Jesus Christ. And 1 John 1 and I says that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Let us go before our Heavenly Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and ask for forgiveness of any mistakes we have made in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for forgiving us, your Holy Son, Jesus, for the forgiveness of our sins, O Lord. Father, I am here confessing and asking forgiveness for any transgressions I have made, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We are asking, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you cleanse us, O Lord, of all unrighteousness in the name of Jesus Christ. And lead us, Father, into all righteousness by the blood of your holy son, Jesus. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, for forgiving us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Psalm 28.8 says, the Lord is our their strength, and he is the saving refuge of his anointed. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, all around me is fear and dread. But be, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Save my family and save me, O oh Lord, from every evil. Bless me. And shepherd me, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Turn it into prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are my strength, O Lord. Thank you, Father, for being my strength, for being my refuge in the midst of great calamity, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Father, for being my strength and being my saving refuge. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. And verse 9, 28 and Verse 9 says, save your people and bless your inheritance, your inheritance. Shepherd them also and bear them up forever. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are your people, O Lord. Bless us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
shepherd us, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and bear us up, Father, in the name of Jesus, that we fall not, Father, to the evil that is around us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Turn it into prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are your people, Father. Bless us, your inheritance, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Shepherd us, Father. Lead us in the paths of righteousness through every evil place, O Lord, and bear us up forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Isaiah 30. Psalm 43, 3 to 4 says, Oh, send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your tabernacle in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, send out your light and your truth into our hearts. Into the hearts, Father, of all our brethren in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lead us, O Lord, by your Holy Spirit of light and truth. And let us do nothing by our own understanding, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Turn it into prayer. We are asking for the leading of the Holy Ghost, the spirit of truth, and the light in the name of Jesus Christ. As we go through this life right now, we don't want to lean into our own understanding. We are asking, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that you lead us by your truth and your light, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Show us the way we should go, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us not lean into our own understanding, but lead us, spirit of truth, and by your light, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Father, in the name of for the privilege, O oh Lord, to be in your presence tonight. We thank you, Father, that you have placed your words in the mouth of Apostle Dr. Botashaw. We thank you, O oh Lord, that you have given him the authority over the nations and the kingdoms to build, to root out, throw down, destroy. And, ah, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, devil, you are a liar. Root out, pull down, destroy and throw down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to build and to plant. We thank you, Father, that your words from his mouth shall not come back void, but will accomplish and prosper in the thing for which you have sent them, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for sharing your secrets with him, for giving him, Father, the ear of the learned that he can speak word to us, the weary, O oh Lord, that we may enter into your holy rest. We thank you, Father, for everything that shall happen tonight. Let it be by thy spirit and thy power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for being a wall of fire around us in the name of Jesus Christ. Letting your glory reign in our midst as you said you would, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. We thank you, Father. We bless your holy name. We thank you for this gathering. We thank you for leading and guiding us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen, 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 in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are welcome to the presence of the Most High God. If the Lord tarries in his coming, we all witness, we all live to witness many more of this day in the land of the living in Jesus' name. Who are we? We are the lights of the world. A city that is set on the hill cannot be hidden. God has made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. Amen. Those were taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 14, and Revelation 5 10. Let us do our confession together for the month of March. Father, the hour has come. Glorify yourself and manifest your name in my life that people may know that you are my God. You are not saying it like you mean it. Father, the hour has come. Glorify yourself and manifest your name in my life that people may know that you are my God. One more time. Father, the hour has come. Glorify yourself. And manifest your name in my name, in my life, in my situation, that people may know that you are my God. So shall it be for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Tomorrow, uh, as our evangelism, if you have um, many of us, if you are available, let us be here tomorrow, tomorrow evening to go out to do the work of evangelism. 
we continue to meet online uh, on Friday and Sunday because we have to abide by the rules and regulation of the law of the land that there cannot be more than 10 people in the sanctuary. So only people, people will be in the church right now. Uh, so let us continue to encourage our people, our brethren that are not in church, that are not aware of this, to join us online. They can join us through the Facebook. They can join, go through the uh, YouTube. Any, 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 through the mass media, they will go over, they should, people should go over there and watch this, uh, the church service. And uh, let us be encouraged. Do not allow, do not be feared. God did not give us the spirit of the fear, but of power and of sound mind. God has power over this virus. He cannot prevail over us. We shall all defeat it in Jesus' name. If there's any more announcements, a pastor will let us know. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let us rise in attitude for prayers. Amen. It is time to pray. Our God is good. It is indeed a privilege to be in his presence. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And our prayer tonight is taken from uh, the book of Psalms, uh, chapter 91, Psalm 91. And the word of the Lord says, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom, in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high, even the most high your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra. You shall walk in the midst of coronavirus, the young lion and the serpent, you shall trample on the foot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I, I will deliver him, said the Lord. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And upon this word of God, we are going to stand and we are going to pray. Amen. Let us pray. We're going to say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let us thank the Lord already for a privilege to be in his presence. Let us open our mouth to thank the Lord. We are alive today. We have come into his presence. It is a privilege. Let us honor him. Let us thank him for keeping us. Let us thank him for the breath of life. Let us thank him for our health. Let us thank him for all what he has done and what he is doing. And let us thank him above all for who he is. For he is the Lord God Almighty. The Lord that will be with us in trouble and will deliver and honor us. And with long life he shall satisfy us. Let us honor him. Let us exalt him. Let us give him thanks. He is worthy. He is merciful. He is good. He is faithful. Let us exalt him. Let us thank him. In Jesus' name we have given thanks. Amen. And let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. 
I surrender myself under your care. Let your presence go with me wherever I go. Let us turn it into prayers. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I surrender myself under your care. Let your presence go with me anywhere I go. I surrender myself, Lord. Under your care, I surrender myself. Let your presence go with me anywhere I go. In my going and in my coming, let your presence go with me, Lord. In this trying time, in this plague, O oh King of glory, let your presence go with me. Wherever I may be, wherever I may go, O oh Lord, wherever my children may go, wherever my family may go, Father, let your presence be with us. Let your presence go with us. In our going and in our coming, Lord, be with us. Father, you went with the Israelites by day and night as a pillar of cloud and fire. Oh, Lord, we call upon you, Father, to go with us in our going and come with us in our coming. As you did before, almighty Jehovah, do it again in our lives in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. And let us pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us. Turn it into prayers. Father, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon the nation. Have mercy upon the world. Come and put an end to this coronavirus. Put an end to this plague, O oh Lord. Let your mercy speak for us, almighty God. Let your mercy speak for us. Let your mercy speak for the nations. Let your mercy speak for the world, O oh Lord. Put an end to this plague, O oh Lord. Put an end to this pandemic, O oh Lord. Put an end to this coronavirus, O oh Lord. Father, no more death, we pray in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy speak, Father. Almighty Jehovah, let your mercy speak for us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon the nations. Have mercy upon the world, O oh Lord. Put an end to the corona, O oh Lord. Put an end to the coronavirus, Father. Let your mercy speak for us, O oh Lord. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak for us, O oh Lord. Put an end to this coronavirus. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, do not allow this wind of evil to blow into my life. Turn it into prayers. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Do not allow this wind of evil to blow into my life. Do not allow this wind of evil to blow in my dwelling place. Do not allow this wind of evil, oh Lord, Father, to come near me. Do not allow this wind of evil, Father, O oh King of glory, to blow, Father, in my dwelling place. To blow anywhere near my family. Anywhere near me, Father, do not allow this wind of evil to blow. This scepter of evil shall not locate me. This scepter of evil shall not fall in my dwelling place. Father, O oh King of glory, do not allow this wind of evil, Father, to blow near me. To 
blow in my dwelling place. To blow into my life. To blow into the lives of my loved ones. To blow into the lives of my families. Father, do not allow this wind of evil, we pray. In Jesus, a precious name we are praying. And let us pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let your shield of protection be around me and my family. Turn it into prayers. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let your shield of protection be around me and my family. Father, thousands may fall at my side. 10,000 by my right. Father, none shall come near me. None shall locate me. None shall come near my dwelling place. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let your shield of protection be around me and my family. Let your shield of protection be around me and my family, oh Lord. Keep a hedge of protection around us. In our going, in our coming, Father, let your hedge of protection protect us. Keep a hedge of protection around us, oh Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let your shield of protection be around me and my family. Oh Lord God Almighty, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your shield of protection be all around me. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, no plague shall come near my dwelling place. No wind of evil shall protect, shall, shall penetrate your shield, O Lord, and come near me. Father, protect me with your shield. O Lord, keep a hedge of protection around me and my family. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. And let us pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let my body system become resistant to any plague of the land. Turn it into prayers. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let my body system become resistant to any plague of the land. Let my body system become resistant to any plague of the land. Oh, Lord God Almighty, anoint me afresh. Baptize me with your favor. Father, let my body system become resistant to any plague of the land. Oh, King of glory. Oh, Lord God Almighty, Abba Father. Oh, by the blood of Jesus Christ, I pray. Oh, Lord, let my body system become resistant to any plague of the land. In the name of Jesus Christ, I shall not fall sick. I shall not be infected by the plague. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, my body system shall become resistant to any plague of the land. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. And let us pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, come and destroy Every invisible enemy over my life, turn it into prayers. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, come and destroy every invisible enemy in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, destroy every invisible enemy. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, every invisible enemy over my life. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every invisible enemy over my life, over my family. Father, be destroyed. Let them be destroyed 
in the name of Jesus. Lord Jehovah, destroy every invisible enemy over my life. Destroy every invisible enemy over my family. No evil shall befall me. Father, none, none shall any plague come near my dwelling place. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, destroy every invisible enemy over my life. Destroy every invisible enemy over my family. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. And let us pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, every agenda of God of this age over my life, let them be destroyed. Turn it into prayers. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, every agenda of the God of this age over my life, let them be destroyed. The devil is a liar. Oh, King of glory, every agenda of the God of this age over my life, let them be destroyed. Every agenda of the God of this age over my life, over my family, Father, let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every agenda of the God of this age over my life be destroyed over my family be destroyed father be destroyed lord destroy them all in the name of jesus christ father every affliction of the god of this age upon our lives father be destroyed in the name of jesus christ lord destroy them all destroy them all father in jesus precious name we are praying and let us pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, where your presence will not be, don't let my feet take me there. Let us turn it to prayers. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, where your presence will not be, don't let my feet take me there, O oh Lord. Father, order my steps, O oh King of glory, order my steps. Lord, where your presence will not be, don't let my feet take me there. In the name of Jesus, order my steps, O Lord. Where your presence will not be, Lord. Where your presence, King of glory, will not be. I am who I am. Where your presence will not be with me. Don't let my feet take me there, O Lord. Don't let my feet take me there, Abba Father. I am who I am. Don't let my feet take me there. Lord, don't let my feet take me there. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Heavenly Father, we thank you, O oh Lord. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. Lord, upon your word, according to Psalm 91, we stand. Father, no weapon formed or fashion against us shall prosper. No plague shall come near our dwelling place. Father, keep a hedge of protection around us. Spread your protective wings around us. Father, where your presence will not be, don't let us be there. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. We cover our prayers with the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Offering time. It's offering time. time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 6 verse 19. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ says, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We know in the name of Jesus Christ that only the righteous can get to heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Choir. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, praise the Lord. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, praise. We give you glory. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, praise the Lord. 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 We give you glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, praise the Lord. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, praise the Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we give you praise, we give you honor, we bless your holy name. We thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for the privilege to give, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We are bringing our offerings to you, O oh Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for blessing them. We thank you for accepting them, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for every tither, every giver, Father, all those who did not have to give. We ask that you bless them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are storing them with you, Father, our God who is in heaven. And we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, that they shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That, Father, you will bless them in the name of Jesus, that they will reap in the name of Jesus Christ. Even now, Father, in this calamity, Father, in the as we have given, let us reap, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as we have sown, thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, for bringing about righteousness in our hearts, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. You are the God who supplies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, bless these offerings, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that our testimony be at Rulers Assembly, that we always give more than enough in the name of Jesus Christ for the work that you have called us to do here in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, let it be, let these offerings be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord. Chase the devourer out of our lives. Let there be open heaven over them, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Father. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen, 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 in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us begin to wave our hands unto the Most High God for His sustainment, for His provision. For his blessings upon our life. Bless his holy name. Amen. Amen. Psalm 91 1 says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Most High God. Amen. We thank God for his deliverance upon our life. Amen. Amen. He that dwelleth in the secret place of Most High God. Shall abound the shadow of Almighty. I will say, of the Lord is my refuge, my God, in all my trust. He that dwelleth in the secret place of most I go. Shall abound the shadow of Almighty. I will say of the Lord is my refuge, my God, a warm I trust. 
shall deliver me from the snow of from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover me with this feather. Under his wing shall I trust. His truth shall be a sheep. I am the Lord that he led thee. I am the Lord, my healer. Oh, I set my word. I heal your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. I am the Lord, thy healer. I am the Lord, your healer. Yeah. 
the world's open. You are the only one. You are the only one. Jehovah. There is no like you. There is why I say, God make a way. We're the same, so be no way. He will see ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day. He will make a way. He will make a way. So we make a way. God will make a way. our voice once again and begin to give him thanks. Let us worship him one more time. Thank you for all that has done for us once again tonight in his presence. Thank you for what he's about to do one more time in our lives. Bless him for all that has done for you and I already. Bless him for what he's going to do for us once again. Lift up your voice and give unto him the glory, honor, and adoration that is due unto him alone. Worship him for another wonderful opportunity, for another wonderful privilege that has given me unto you and I for us to be in his presence once again tonight. Let us adore his holy name. He is worthy of all our worship. He is worthy of all our praise. Father, we worship your holy name. We give you all the praise, honor, and adoration. Thank you, Lord, for another time of refreshing your presence. 
Thank you for all that you are prepared to do. Thank you now, Miss, once again tonight. Thank you for all you have done in our lives already. We give back to you all the glory. We give back to you all the honor. We give back to you all the adoration. Blessed be your holy name forever. Blessed be your holy name forever. Blessed be your holy name forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, your name remain forever the same. We worship your holy name because you're a good God. Be thou glorified, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to lift up our voice and say, Father, as I'm about to lift up my voice unto you tonight, answer my prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. Turn every of my prayer requests in your presence tonight to, to, to testimony for me. Let us turn into prayer. Has God to answer every of your prayer requests once again tonight? Do not allow my coming to your presence once again tonight to be in vain. Do not allow my coming to your presence tonight to be as usual. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In any way that I might have sinned against you. That can make my coming to your presence tonight to be in vain. That you look down from heaven and mercy support me now. The Bible says in the book of John 9, 31, says God does not listen to prayers of a sinner. But if anyone is a worshiper of God and do your will, you answer him. I come to your presence tonight. Answer, forgive me, O Lord. Forgive me of all my iniquity. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the book of 1 John, chapter 1, verse 8 to 9, that if anyone says he has no sin, there is no truth in him. If we come before you and, for, and confess our sins, you are more than faithful to cleanse us from all our righteousness. I confess my sin before you tonight. Look down from heaven and have mercy upon me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Forgive me of all my iniquity. Forgive me of all my righteousness. Let us ask for the presence of the Most High to come down so I miss once again. So we are coming to his presence tonight will not be in vain. So that we will not go back the same way as we have come tonight. Father, let us, let us pray come down to our midst once again tonight. Let the spirits of the Lord come down to our midst. So as we call upon your holy name tonight, our prayers will be answered. So that we can have divine encounter with you tonight. Father, send that your presence to our midst once again tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So that our, our coming tonight to your presence will not be as usual. In Jesus' unfailing name, we are prayed. Amen and amen, amen in Jesus' mighty name. Let us be seated. We are far be seeking the face of the Lord uh, from the beginning of today. And our theme of our prayer tonight is titled Protection. Protection. And when we are talking about protection, we are talking about being uh, ability to, for us to be, for us to be preserved. It means we are talking about preservation, for us to be preserved from every form of destruction. When we are talking about um, protection, we are talking about defense. We are talking about shield. We are talking about guard. We are talking about safeguard for us to keep secure from every form of danger, from every form of attack, from every form of uh, affliction. We are talking about for us to to be to be safe from every form of harm or from every form of injury. We are talking about preservation. Everybody in the, in the entire universe now, if you turn to your left, you turn to your right, front and back, you see that everybody is afraid. Everybody is asking for the protection of Almighty God. Everybody is shaking like, like, like a jello. But each and every one of us, we are here in the presence of the Most High God because we know that, that Jehovah God is our shield, is our buckler, is our protection. That's why we, we run into his presence tonight to come and protect us evil against every attack or against every pestilence of the uh, of coronavirus. Amen. And we know that it shall preserve each and every one of us in Jesus' name. The Bible says in our Bible reading that we write tonight in the book of Psalm 91, it says, He who dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of Almighty. Who, who's, who dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the, protect, under the shadow of Almighty God. Each and every one of us in this ministry we have made the king of all the kings our shield. We have made him our butler. We have made him our, our fortress. That is why we run under his, under his presence once again tonight. When we look on our Bible into the book of Esther chapter, uh, Esther chapter 3, we all know the story of how the, um, a decree was made, how a decree was, decree was made in the land that all the Jews should be killed. The uh, Haman 
Amal went to the king of King Azarus. He said that, that all the, the people of the Jews should be killed. And the people were afraid. The people that we are all afraid of uh, coronavirus now, that ever, coronavirus is going to kill everybody. The, the, uh, Haman, uh, Haman said, um, said to the king that the people of the Jews should be killed. And the king gave him a decree. You know, Esther chapter 3, verse 10. So the king, so the king took his signet ring from his hand and gave it to Haman, the son of Haman, 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 the Agatite, the enemy, the enemy of the Jews. And the king said to Haman, the money and the people are given to you. Do to them as you, as you wish. So everybody was, everybody was afraid. And in verse 13, the letters went, the letters were sent by the, by the courier into all the king's prophecies to destroy to kill and to annihilate all the Jews, both the young and the old, little children and women. In one day, in, in the third day of the twelfth month, which is the month of Ada, and plunder their and to plunder their, possess, um, their possessions. The people were afraid. The letter was sent to the by the Kura Korea to kill all the Jews, both the young and the old, male and female. Everybody was afraid. And um, uh, Mordecai now sent the same message to Esther in the book of um, uh, the same Esther chapter 4. He sent the message to her in verse 14. He said, If you remain completely silent at this time, relief and deliverance will arise from the Jews from another place. But you and your father's house will perish. Yes, who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for just a time like this. Mordecai sent a message to to Esther in the palace. He said, do not remain quiet. Do not think you are safe. Do not think you are protected it's because you are in the palace and you think only the Jews in the land will be killed. That you and the entire, your entire soul is going to perish. Maybe nobody knows. Maybe God sent you as a, for a time like this for you to be in the, in the palace so that you can, you, can, you, you can safeguard all the Jews in the land. And, the, and, 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 and Esther replied Mordecai in verse 16. He said, go gather all the Jews into gather all the Jews who are present in Susan and fast for me for me. Neither eat nor drink for three days. Night or day, night or day, my mates and I will fast likewise. And so I will go to the king, which is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. He said, You gather all the people of the land together. Gather all the Jews, male and female, to fast on my behalf. And myself and my entire mate, we, we go into th three days for prayers and fasting. Let me go and seek, let me go to the presence of the king. It is, it is very dangerous for me to go to the presence of the king at this time because it's not my time. If I go, if anybody go to the presence of the king at the wrong time, that is it's not his or her time, he's going to be killed. That individual will perish. But I have to, let us go and seek the, the space of the Lord. For God to protect us for a time like this, for protection, for me to receive the favor of the Lord before the king, fast and pray for me, myself and my maid will fall so fast. Maybe when, when I let me go for, for me to receive the favor of the Lord before the king. So that when I go there, if I receive the favor of the Lord, God will use the king, God will use me on behalf of the entire people of the land to protect all the Jews. And this decree of death shall be removed away from us. And I'm an the, and, and so this decree of the of the death shall be removed away from us. And I know that each and every one of us, as we are gathering tonight in the presence of the King of all the kings, we are here to run to the presence of Almighty God for divine protection against this plague of the land, against the plague of coronavirus. And I, and we have been seeking the Lord in prayers and fasting. And I know that the King of all the kings will wave off every plague of coronavirus away from our life away from our family, away from every soul all over the world. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We shall not perish in this in destruction of coronavirus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to rise up on our feet and we are going to pray. Because we are here, we, are, we, are run, we run to the presence of the king, of all the kings tonight, to, to ask for the presence, to ask for divine protection of Almighty God. Even when enemy came in the book of Second Chronicles chapter 20, enemy came, the nations rise up against uh, King Joseph, King Joseph, and the people, King Joseph, the king of the land, the, the king of Judah. King, the king of Judah, enemy came to fight battle against, to fight battle against him. And he said, and in verse 3, he gathered, King Joseph gathered the people of the land together. He said, let us, pro he proclaimed prayer and fasting into all the land that God to protect them. Again, he, he decreed prayer and fasting 
in her the love for God to protect them against this enemy. Because there are three nations that rose up against one nation. We are here tonight to seek for the protection of Almighty God against the attack, against this pestilence of coronavirus. Let us rise up on our feet and we are going to pray. And we are going to say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we run to your presence tonight. Do not allow the evil wind of coronavirus to blow into my life and to my family. Let us turn to into prayers. King Josephus and the people of the land, they run to the, unto the Lord for divine protection because there are three nations that rose up against them. They have no power against all these three nations. Only one nation, three nations against one. They run against, they run to the presence of the Lord for, for help, for God to see them through. And Job and God saw them through. We are here in the presence of the Most High God. Lift up your voice and ask, your, and ask God to, to protect you and your family against the evil wind of coronavirus. For God to protect you and your family. Even when the coronavirus will not blow into my life, it will not blow into my family, turn into prayers. Do not allow the scepter of coronavirus to land in my life and my family in the name of Jesus Christ. Turn into prayers. Don't think the issue of coronavirus is a joke. The people that have been affected. The family that have been affected, the family that has lost one member of their family, they will know that corona, the plague of coronavirus is not a joke. That's why you need to open up your mouth and, and, and cry unto the Lord for divine protection. Father, do not allow the scepter of coronavirus to land in my life, in my family. The Bible says in, in Psalm 125, verse 1 and 2, it said, Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abide forever. As mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord sur surround those who, who trust, put their trust in him. Father, I put my trust in you for divine protection. Father, protect me against this plague of the land. Protect me and my family against this plague of the land in the name of Jesus Christ. Has God to surround you with his divine protection against this plague of the land, to surround you and your entire household against this plague of the land in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, surround me and my entire household against this plague of the land in the name of Jesus Christ. Surround us, O Lord, with your divine protection against this plague of the land of coronavirus in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I want us to cover ourselves and our entire household with the blood of Jesus Christ. When we remember in the book of Exodus chapter 11, in the book of um, before that chapter, when God wanted to deliver the people, the people of Israel, the people of Egypt, I mean, with series of plagues. But when he get to chapter, chapter 11, and um, Pharaoh refused to let the people of Israel go. When he has them to go, after when God has struck them with one plague or the other, it will, has, it will, it will, it will prevent them from living again. And the Bible says in, verse, in Exodus chapter 11, it said to Moses, say, and the Lord said to Moses, I will bring one more plague on Pharaoh and on Egypt. Afterward, he will let you go. He will let you grow from there. When he lets you go, he will surely drive you out of here altogether. And in chapter 12 of it, now the blood shall be a sign for you on the house where you are. And once I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of, uh, when I strike the land of, uh, the land of Egypt. And verse 23. For the Lord will pass, through this, will pass through to strike the Egyptians. And when he sees the blood on the lintel and on the two doorposts, the Lord will pass over the door and not allow the destroyer to come into your houses to strike you. The Lord said to his uh, to Moses, he said, kill, uh, kill, the, kill the animal and put the blood by the door. When the angel of, this, the angel of destruction come and begin to kill it, begin to kill the firstborn of the, the Egyptians. When they see the blood of the when they see the blood of the, the blood of the land, they will pass over you. Because it, that's an, another form of plague. As coronavirus has served as plague now for the for, for the whole nation, that was the, that was how 
killing of the first man of all the young was a plague in the land of Egypt. We are going to call, we are going to, we are going to pray, we are going to cover ourselves and our entire household with the blood of Jesus Christ. Because he said, when the angel of destruction shall begin to pass, and they see the blood by the by your lintel, they will pass over you. The angel of destruction will not will not enter your house. We are going to lift up your mouth and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I cover myself. And my entire household with the blood of Jesus Christ. When the angels of destruction of coronavirus will be passing by, they will see the blood of Jesus over me and my entire household, and they will pass over us turning to play prayers. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, I will pass, I will pass over you. When I see the blood. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, I will pass, I will pass over you, over you, Father, Lord of heaven, authority in heaven. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus Christ at this time. At this time. I cover my entire household with the blood of Jesus. I sold myself, my entire household, my children, my spouse, into the pool of the blood of Jesus. Every soul that worship in rulers assembly ministries, I saw each and every one of us into the pool of the blood of Jesus Christ. When the angels of destruction are passed by, they will see the blood of Jesus Christ over us, and they will pass over us. They will not be able to come near us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I soak myself into the pool of the blood of Jesus Christ. I had my life into the pool of the blood of Jesus. I had myself, each and every my children, my spouse, every soul that worship in rulers assembly ministries, my family member, my friends, anyone that has to do with me. I will soak each and every one of us into the pool of the blood of the love, into the pool of the blood of Jesus for divine protection in the name of Jesus Christ. When the angel of destruction, angel of destruction of the coronavirus, they shall be passing back in our fronts, in our back, in our laps, in our right. They will not come near us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I soak myself with the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, protect me and my entire household with the blood of Jesus Christ. Protect every member of the assembly ministries with the blood of Jesus Christ. Protect every member of the assembly ministries with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The plague of coronavirus shall not, shall not have power upon us. In the name of Jesus Christ. And anyone that has to do with us, in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Exodus 23, 25 and 6 says, So you shall serve the Lord your God, and we, and you, we, and we bless your bread and your water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of you. No one shall suffer miscarriage or be buried in your land. I will fulfill the number of your days. We are going to pray. That Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, deliver every soul that has been affected by this coronavirus in, by your power. In the name of Jesus Christ, every individual that might have been affected in this ministry by coronavirus, Father, deliver each and every one of us from its attack from their, by your power. In the name of Jesus Christ, has Jehovah God to deliver anyone that has to do with you, anyone that has to do with this ministry that might have been affected with coronavirus, one way or the other, has God to deliver each and every one of them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone that is sick in this ministry has for the healing, healing power of God to be released upon them now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everlasting Father, if there's anyone in this ministry that have been affected, that have been struck with this coronavirus, I hear matter we have that you deliver each and every one of these individuals right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heal every sick soul in this ministry by your power, by the power that makes you a living God. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. We have been hearing news here and there that a lot of people have lost their life due to this coronavirus. It's not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ because our life have been have been hidden in the blood of the land. We are going verse twenty six says verse so twenty twenty six says I will cause you to fulfill the numbers of your day. We are going to lift up your voice and say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, there shall not be record of untimely death in this ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not lose any of our members to coronavirus. Virus. In the name of Jesus, we will not lose any member of our family to coronavirus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will not be a victim of coronavirus. Turn into prayers. We will not, there shall not be a record of family death in this ministry. Father, let your words come to pass upon our life in this ministry. Cause each and every one of us to live to fulfill the number of our days. In rulers assembly ministries, there shall not be a record of untimely death in rulers assembly ministries, oh Lord, by your power. 
There shall not be a record of untimely death in this ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ, there shall not be a record of death due to coronavirus in our midst. In the name of Jesus Christ, the rulers assembly ministry, because we live at all, Lord, you shall not. There shall not be a record of family death in our individual's family. In rulers assembly ministries, due to coronavirus, by your power, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, let your work come to fulfillment upon our life, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are be hearing it. We are be we are be seeing. It, how coronavirus have been taking away people's life. Father, your word says that a thousand may fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes we shall look and see the, 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 the reward of the, the, the result of coronavirus. And I am that I have. Let's all welcome to fulfillment upon our lives, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We will only hear the effect of coronavirus, it will not come near us by your power. Turn into prayers. Father, let's all welcome to fulfillment over every soul that worship in rulers assembly ministries. Let's all welcome to fulfillment over, over each and every one of us in this assembly. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your word said we will only see with our eyes. We hear with our ears. We not come now. Every effect of coronavirus, Father, do not allow it to be our portion in this ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Deliver us, deliver our entire household, oh Lord, from the snare of the coronavirus in this ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Deliver us from every plague of the land that is, that is flying around all over the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Every agent of coronavirus, every agent of devil, Every agent of coronavirus all over the world, Father, take power away from them. Destroy their power, oh Lord, over every life all over the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Put a hand on the power of coronavirus all over the world, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Deliver us, oh Lord, from, from, from sickness and disease all over the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Deliver each and every one of us, oh Lord, from the effect of coronavirus. From the effect of this flag of the land. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let every body of coronavirus all over the world be destroyed tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Turn it to prayer. Every body, every body of coronavirus all over the world. Father, let them be destroyed now. Let them be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every hold of coronavirus. Over every life, Father, to not let them be destroyed all over the world. I am that I'm every horde of coronavirus all over the world, over every life. Father, let them be broken, let them be destroyed right now by your power. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every, every body of coronavirus, over every life, all over the world, Father, to not let them be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every, every body of coronavirus, over the affected ones, all over the world, Father, let them be destroyed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba Father, because we have done it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' unfailing name, we are prayed. In Jesus' unfailing name, we are prayed. Abba Father, we glorify your holy name. We give back to you all the glory, all the honor and adoration. Be thou glorified, Lord, be thou exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are you are our fortress, you are our deliverer. In rulers assembly ministries, we run under your shadow of protection tonight. In this ministry, Father Lord Jehovah, we hide every soul that worship in rulers assembly ministries and our individual family and every soul all over the world into the pool of the blood of Jesus. For divine protection against this evil virus of coronavirus, Father Lord Jehovah, protect each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Put a hand to this evil plague from all over the world, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Put them to shame over this over this plague all over the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Put a hand to this plague of coronavirus quickly in the name of Jesus. Every soul that have been affected all over the world, let your healing power come upon them now and deliver them in the name of. Jesus. Jesus Christ. 
every member of Relax Assembly Ministry that might have been affected from this coronavirus and our family member all over the world. Father, we touch the hem of your garments at this hour. King of glory on their behalf for divine healings. Let your healing from above come upon each and every one of these individuals and heal them totally from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba Father, because you have done it in Jesus' unfailing name. We are prayed. Amen, amen, and amen in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I mean, a person like God's word can never fail. God's word can never fail. And as we are moving forward in tonight, in Exodus chapter 7, verse 14, Exodus chapter 7, I mean, Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, say, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, and pray and seek for my face. I turn from their wicked way. Then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. The land need to be healed. The land needs to be healed. If my people are called by me, if you are able to pray a corporate prayer, these issues the invisible enemy that is tormenting the world we see in the name of Jesus Christ. It's a battle that nobody knows how to win, but God knows how to win. It's a battle that scares, he enters into the king palace, he enters into the servant palace, he, he can enter into any palace. It has no respect for any palace. But we know, according to our God's word, it's God that he led thee. As many that touch them of his garment, they shall be healed. Amen. We are going to start on our feet at this. And we are going to pray a corporate prayer tonight. That say, Father, we have come in your presence tonight. In presence and those on the internet. We join our faith together tonight. Jehovah, he the land. Let us cry to God for God to come and eat land. But I come and he the land, Jehovah. We stand on your wall tonight, Jehovah. That if you humble ourselves and we call upon you to seek for your face, that we eat the land. Father, come and eat the land tonight. We have come into your presence tonight. Jehovah, we join our faith with other brethren around the world that are calling upon your Lord Jehovah, King of all the kings. Let that be healing over the land. Let that be healing over the land, Lord. This invisible enemy, everlasting God, tormenting both king and the servant. Father, take power away from, from this coronavirus. Take power away from this agent of the devil, oh Lord. Take power away from this agent of the devil. Father, take power away from them. He heed the land, oh Lord. So if you call upon you, you will heed the land. We call upon you tonight. Come and heed the land, Lord. Father, heed the land. Let the land be healed. Every sick individual be affected by this evil wind. Jehovah, let them be healed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We know when the wind blow, the wind draws sickness and disease. Amen. The east wind blow, and sickness and sea drawing. And when the west wind blow, it clear them up. We are going to crown to God right now. Wherever the wind is blowing for, that represent this sickness and disease. Father, let them be still right now. Let her, let her, let her be upon this way. Let her come to God. For the God to intervene. 
Let this wind that is blowing sickness and be still right now. Let the wind be still right now. Let us come to God. Then. Let the wind be still. And whatever the wind that is blowing this sickness and disease in the air, Jehovah, let them be still right now. Let us go for the wind to be still. For let the wind be still. Let the wind be still. Let the wind be still. God, God, for this wind to be still. Father, let this wind be still. We call upon you tonight. Let this wind be still. Let this wind of evil be still, O oh Lord. We call upon you, Jehovah. Let this wind of evil be still, O oh Lord. Bring an end to this wind. Bring an end to this evil wind of coronavirus, Lord. Let this wind be still. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. So, you are giving us the power. That's not what authority and the power. Say, so whatever we ban on us shall be banned in heaven. And whatever we lose on us shall be loose in heaven. And we are going to speak to this virus to die. Amen. We are going to speak under one voice. Amen. That this virus of this coronavirus must die. Let us say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, say, we speak with authority against this virus of corona and the corona. Let them die right now. Let them come to God. Let them die right now. Wherever they may be operating. Let them come to God. Let them die right now. We speak against them. Or against this coronavirus. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. Eh? We speak with authority of the most high God. Eh? Die right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Eh? Die right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you may be operating. Wherever you may be. In the realm of the air. In the body of anyone. We command you to die right now in Jesus name. We speak with the authority of the Most High God. Die right now. Die right now. Die right now. We speak against you. Wherever you may be in the realm of the Spirit, we command you to die. We command you to die right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you, this virus may be in operation, in life of anyone around the world, in the air, anywhere you may be, we command you with the authority in the name of Jesus Nazareth to die right now. We speak with the authority of the Most High God. We command you to die right now. Let us let us let us let us command it to die. Wherever they, they may be, in the realm of the air, in the realm of the ground, wherever they may be habitating, let us command them to die right now. Let us say the Holy Ghost fire to begin to consume them. Let us begin to command the Holy Ghost fire to begin to consume them. Let us command the Holy Ghost fire to consume them right now. Let the Holy Ghost fire consume them right now. Wherever they may be. Let us call upon Holy Ghost fire. Let us dispatch Holy Ghost fire to begin to consume them. Holy Ghost fire to consume them. Fire must fall. Fire must fall. Let Holy Ghost fire consume them right now. Let Holy Ghost fire consume them right now.
Let only ghost fire consume them right now. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. It's God that he led thee. He sent his word and he did. And rather from every form of afflictions, we are going to crown to God right now. Everyone that seek around the world, let the power in the only power of world reach out to them now and let them be healed from any kind of this virus. Let us crown to God. Let us crown to God. Then. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, say, we join our faith together. We send your word according to your word. Eh? Everyone that is sick, it is sick better right now, wherever they may be, let them be healed. Deliver them from every form of affliction, let them come to God. For God to deliver them from every form of affliction. Those who are sick, let them be healed. Deliver them from every form of affliction. Every one that is sick, oh Lord, Jehovah, let them be healed. Deliver them from every form of affliction in the administrative. Whatever is the affliction of the plague of the land, Jehovah around the world, let them be healed. Deliver them, O Lord Jehovah, from every form of affliction and from every form of the plague of the land. Cry to God for God to deliver them. For God to deliver them. For God to deliver them. In Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. So shall it be for us in Jesus' name. My brother, my sister, we are going to the communion tonight. I want us to do something. Those who are watching out on the internet, please, if you have anything you're out, I want to use as a communion tonight. If you have the bread or the biscuit, whatever you want to use as a communion tonight, if you have water, just take anything now. We are going to pray a prayer of faith. Tonight, I am going to start on God's word. And I want to have understanding as we join our faith together tonight. We shall be healed. Whatever I represent sickness and sin in our life shall depart in the name of Jesus. So I'm giving each and every one of us like 30 seconds. Get whatever you want to get. Either you want to get biscuit or whatever you can use as a communion in your house. If you want to get water, whatever you want to get to use as a communion tonight. If you want to get soda, anything that you want to use for communion tonight. The God's word will reach out to that thing that you are trusting God for. Act, let your faith based on it tonight. And something will happen in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. And the prayer we are going to pray tonight as we are preparing for that one is about the power in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It's the blood that delivers, is the blood that sets free. It's the blood that humiliates sickness and disease. It's the blood that the coronavirus or any plague of life cannot sustain. Is the blood that any coronavirus cannot live in. So as we're about to partake in it tonight, it's a prayer to, to number two, two kind of prayer we are going to pray tonight. You can see when Jesus Christ of Nazareth gave that me to disciples at uh, the last me before he was crucified, the moment he gave it to Satan, Judas is carried out, Judas walked out from their midst. Amen. He walk out from their midst. So as we are partaking in this, I'm talking about John chapter 13, verse 30. I will receive the piece of the bread. He then went out immediately and it was night. He went out after he received the bread. As we are partaking in this communion tonight, everything God has not planted in your life shall walk out. Whatever God has not planted in your life, that are walking into your life by the power of the blood tonight, they shall walk out in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. They shall do all, they shall walk out. Whatever is walking into your life, as you partake in this communion tonight, they shall walk out in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we invoke your power over this communion tonight. Those who are listening to us on the internet, wherever you may be, as you partake in this communion tonight, Every plague of the land that walk into anyone's life, I command them to walk out in the name of Jesus Christ. As you use this communion tonight, they shall walk out. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Please begin to cry out to God before you use it tonight, Father. As I partake in this communion tonight, whatever has walked into my life, let them begin to walk out. 
whatever you have not created with me that walk into my life, oh, let them begin to walk out. Please take it out. Begin to cry out to God. Eh? Whatever that walk into my life that you have not created with me, let them begin to walk out. Eh? Every form of virus, every form of plague of the land. Eh? Crown to God tonight. Whatever you have not created with me, that step to this assembly tonight with me, let them begin to walk out. Eh? Let them begin to crown to God. Every form of virus, eh? every form of plague of the land. Eh? Let them begin to walk out, begin to crown to God tonight. Eh? As I partake in this communion tonight, let my healing come speedily. Let them begin to walk out. Every break of the land will not locate me by this blood. Whatever cannot survive in your blood has no legal right to survive in my blood. Whatever cannot survive in your blood has no legal right to survive in my blood. Father, as I partake in this communion tonight, whatever cannot survive in your blood has no legal right to survive in my blood. Whatever cannot survive in your flesh has no legal right to survive in my flesh. In Jesus' mighty name, we are pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we are pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Jehovah, as we partake in your communion tonight, as we are crowned, we let it be in Jesus' name. Please take out the body and open the blood. A night before he was crucified, he took the bread and he gave thanks. said, this is my body. Give it down to you. Break it down for you. So do this in remembrance of me. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your body. That sickness and this has no power over. That you are giving to us free of charge tonight. Thank you, Lord, for your body in Jesus' mighty name. We are giving thanks. Amen. 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 Jesus, break it. I eat it. In the same manner, he took the cup and gave thanks. He said, this is my blood. Shed it for you for the remissions of sin. He said, do this remembrance of me. Father, by your blood we stand tonight. We give you thanks. Let your blood perform wonders in our lives. Step into our body as healing virtues. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. Amen. 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 In Jesus' drink it. They anoint yourself. Anoint yourself, anoint your head over it tonight. Um, please pray one minute prayer. Say, Father, as I partake in this communion tonight, my body system become resistance to every plague of the land. Crown to God. My body system become resistance to every plague of the land. My body system become resistance to every plague of the land. In Jesus' mighty name, we are pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we are pray. Father, as we are called upon, let it be, o Lord. Thank Father, because you have done it. In Jesus' mighty name, we are pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Please listen to this following announcement briefly. On Sunday, we are not going to have this service in the church, but I'm going to encourage each and every one of us to join on the social media. Uh, you can do the work of evangelism by calling people over the phone to join the social media. Amen. So you can use that one as a means of evangelism. Call people that you can call, encourage them to join the social media. Where we can, they can find us on our website, on YouTube, on Twitter, on anything that you want to use. You can find us there. At the same time, service will start from 10 a.m. Amen. So on Sunday, there's not going to be any, any early morning service in the church. But the service start at 10 o'clock. Amen. Go help all of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, your tithe and offering, you can pay your tithe and offering on the website. Just log into the church website. You can give your tithe and offering there, or you can drop it off in the church anytime. At the, the church will always be open anytime, anyway. And if the church is not open, you can drop at the, at the box beside the church. Go help all of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Or you can even mail it to the church. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Let us hand on our feet as we are closing tonight. In the name of God, the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Father, we stand on your word. Jehovah, you are God that has cheated us. Cheated us tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. King of all the kings, none of us shall be a victim of the plague of the land in the name of Jesus Christ. 
In this ministry, we hear it. You know, locate in the name of Jesus. Everlasting God. Everyone that have an attachment with this ministry, the plague of the Lord will not locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak with the authority of the Most High God. And I declare and I declare. I cause them out of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I cause them out of your daily place in the name of Jesus Christ. Over your spouse, I cause them out. Over your strength, I cause them out. I decree your body become a resistance to them in the name of Jesus Christ. If the plague of the land try to come now, you I command them dead in Jesus' name. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name. Surely, God goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you all. Thanks for coming. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.